happy Tuesday. Does it feel, feel like Tuesday? No, it feels like Friday. It's not Everything's Friday. off. This whole week November is weird. November 22nd. I know. It's, been a, it's, it's a weird holiday week. That's it's a weird it week. Yeah. Uh, hi, everyone. How's it going? Welcome. Uh, Dan Rosales is here from Spamilton. Spamilton. Yes. The big Spamilton. off-Broadway uh, hit. Spamilton. And uh, he plays Lin Mo Miranda and, and all sorts of. We're gonna talk about it, but uh, everyone's loving this show. Oh yeah! It's like a total like uh, buzzed it's, about. It's so funny how it's like there's there's like there's Hamilton buzz and there's Spamilton buzz. They're not the same. Yeah, but they're related. <laughs> they're related and they run. Yes, exactly. So we'll get to him. Uh, what's what happened in the news today? Not a whole lot of news because okay. of now holiday week. Everyone's rehearsing for the parade, right? That's what's happening. Yes, are you rehearsing for the parade? No. Rehearsing to watch the parade? <laughs> yeah, rehearsing to DVR it. <laughs> um, I will say, though, first of all, let's shout out to Jordan Fisher, who stars tonight mm. in Hamilton with an H. Yes. And he's going to take on the role of John Lawrence and Philip Hamilton. And Judy Kuhn also stars tonight in Fiddler. Oh, yeah, Ooh, that's right. It's You're right. It's a big day. It's a big day. I love both those people. Jordan, Great shows. Jordan Fisher is so nice. I, mean, I met him on the, when I went to see the Grease Live Kids. Oh, yeah. He Grease was Live really, Kids. really, really sweet. So, welcome to Broadway. How exciting. And, you and what it. a beautiful voice. Yeah. I mean, Judy Kuhn, too. I mean, Judy Kuhn. Two great Jet voices. Legend. Two amazing voices on Broadway tonight. Yeah, so, so if you're going to the theater tonight, you are cool. in for a treat. Uh, interesting news, Tony winner James Corden is going to host the Grammys. Uh, no, I mean, no February surprise 12th. there. No of course surprise. he is. He's like the best. But I didn't, re- I don't really watch the Grammys. I always watch the Tonys. Um, LL Cool J has hosted the Grammys for the last five years. He did? That's what our story says. I, I just I, watch I random verify. performances. I just exactly. watch, like, I watch exactly. when Hamilton's on. <laughs> yes, or any Broadway show right, that might make Broadway, it. Any Broadway connection. But now we have a Broadway connection, James Corden. That's correct. I wonder if there'll be a show He's tunes. One of us. Probably not. But he might sing, though. He can sing. Yes, we know. We I know. know. He can sing. Everyone wants to do karaoke. So you know how Kelly O'Hare is going to do Kiss Me, Kate, for one night only on mm-hmm. December 12th. They've announced the rest of the cast. Who else is in it? Robbie Fairchild, my love. Well, wait, lady. well, who's playing, um, who's the male lead, isn't it? Will Chase, sorry. Will Chase, yeah. Will Chase. Helena York is joining the cast. Chuck Cooper, who oh. we love. Okay. Richard Kind and John Panko are the gangsters. You okay, know, the brush fun. up your Shakespeare yeah, yeah, gangsters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun. And um, as you know, it's directed by Scott Ellis and choreographed by Warren Carlyle. I saw Scott Ellis today. Just I was coming out. out of the dentist and he was there. And I was like, hey, what's up? You go to the same dentist? It's a I celebrity no, it was, dentist? No, no, no. Oh. It was the building. It was the building. Okay. I got excited. <laughs> I got excited. So that's December 12th at Studio 54. And it's, got, it's just got a great cast. Cool. Fantastic. Um... Uh, let's see. Oh, Kristen Chenoweth was on The Tonight Show talking up Hairspray Live. Yes. And she says she's really nervous, and I don't think she's nervous to sing live because that's old hat for, mm-hmm. for Kristen, but she's nervous about twirling the baton, <laughs> which she did in Oklahoma. I don't mean the musical. The I mean state. her home state. Yes. Um, Why does Miss Baltimore Crabs twirl the baton? Is that just part of the I thing? I guess so. Couldn't she just be like, Jerry, let's just cut the baton? I don't know. I don't remember Baton, but... But apparently she... Well, you know, she's a former beauty queen, as we know. Kristen Chenoweth can do it all. She can I'm not do worried. anything. Did she, you, you didn't see her concert on Broadway, correct? I did not, no. You know, I they showed it. she sang a beautiful song to her parents mm-hmm. about their 50th anniversary. It was a really pretty song. Um, and that she, they showed, like, a slideshow behind her with all these old photos oh of God. her. It was amazing. And, um, Christy Dawn. And footage from her, um, from her pageant. Her pageant from days. From pageant days, yeah. Amazing. Anyway, it was great. Um, we have Jonathan Freeman's roll call. Oh, yeah. He's Jonathan great. Freeman plays Jafar in Aladdin. He played Jafar in he the Aladdin Apparently, he always movie. plays Jafar. And I didn't realize how much voiceover he's done for, yeah, for I think, Aladdin. Yeah, I, the I think he's constantly check, uh, cashing Disney checks for Jafar. <laughs> It's not Congratulations. a bad gig. It's a great It's a great it's not gig. A bad gig. Anyway, that's really fun. Do you remember Jonathan Freeman before Jafar? That's how old we are. Why we knew who he was before Jafar. We, he was a really true. funny character actor. He still is. He still is. But now he's too far. Again. Um, there's unseen footage of the hairspray. Wait, Croatia's watching. I just want to tell everyone. Croatia? Philip from Croatia is watching. Oh, so the whole thank country. you. Thank you. Hello, thank you for Croatia. watching. I'm sorry, go um, ahead. <laughs> there's unseen footage of the hairspray audition. Yeah, that's fun. It's fun. It's worth seeing. Yeah. It's not really unseen. It's like just, a spoofy. Just watch it. It's fun. cute. Very yeah. cute. Anyone yeah. who does a Harvey. Firestein voice. You do a very good Harvey voice, by the way. <laughs> not, on to, not on demand. Not on demand. Not like this. I, try, I was trying to get him to do it. Oh, well. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> Darn. Um, That's private, Beth. That's sorry. just for you. <laughs> well, if you want to say how old I am, I can... My impersonations can... are just for you in the office. Well, Kristen not does one on The Tonight on Show. On the stage at Spamilton, like Kristen some other people. Kristen describes Harvey's voice as having a lot of balls in it. What? You heard me. <laughs> the boys? That's what she says. A lot of balls? In the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to Kristen to describe things just so well. Um, By the way, our video, I went out to LA last week and interviewed all of them, and the video that we made is, it will be up on the set on Monday. So exciting. It's embargo. This is like a thing. It's like an industry thing where you like you have to wait. You have to waiting. wait. You have to wait to put it up. Yeah. But it's a really fun video. Anyway. Um, the last thing we have on the set We didn't today. talk about balls in Harvey's voice, though. You missed out. You missed out. But Jimmy Fallon did. I didn't know that was an angle. It's, an, it's totally an angle. It is now. Um... The other thing we have on the site today is Nathan Lane was honored at the MTC Fall Gala. Yeah. Or Gala. Or Gala. Depends how you want to pronounce it. Uh, what a nice guy. What a nice guy. Really fun. All the usual suspects. You know, your Matthew Brodericks. Well, he's friends with everyone. Your Andrea Martins. Your people like that. Andrea Martin was there? Mm-hmm. I just saw her in LA. Well, she gets She's around. in a little love hug with Nathan and his husband, Devlin. You sure it was her? Looks like her. <laughs> <laughs> if not, she's got an amazing double. And it wasn't Christine Baranski, so I don't know. Okay. All right. Is that all you got? Is that not enough? Yeah. Are you cooking Thanksgiving dinner? I am. Yeah. Are you preparing? Are you, you have a turkey? I have a game plan. Game hen. Cornish game hen. Game plan. All right. Whatever. Um, I'm not now. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> okay. Let's welcome our special guest. Thank you, Beth. Uh, Dan Rosales, everybody. Welcome. No, so nice you. to meet you. Hi, guys. How, nice you. How's it going? It's going great. How yeah. are you? I'm good. good. Um, are you excited for Thanksgiving? I'm so excited. Yeah. I just love to eat in general, so this week gives me more of an excuse to do that. So <laughs> I'm very excited. Now, you don't really look like how you look at you. You have some, there's some some um, magic that happens to yes, you. Yes, there's some accoutrement, if you will, yeah. in Spamilton and NYC. So you, you, you do play Lynn. Mm -hmm. Is that not actually your character, your Lynn Manuel Miranda? I play and Lynn Manuel Miranda as Alexander Hamilton. Okay, so there's levels. Yes, there's, there's levels. levels to it. Um, so when did you find out about this gig? Like, did you see an audition for it yes, or, or what it was, happened? I think it was in June. My agent right when Hamilton was like everywhere. The biggest thing ever. Winning ponies and mm -hmm. huge. Um, my agent sent me an appointment for, at the time it was called Untitled Satirical Book Musical. And I was like, what the heck is this? That's, what, that's like what it said. That's what the so breakdown said. So you didn't know how to get I had no idea what it was. It was a secret. It was a secret. It's a top secret project. They said, come in and be funny and sing a funny song. I was like, okay, I can do funny, I think. Can Hopefully. you do funny? Have you done a lot of funny? Apparently. I don't know. <laughs> apparently, I have. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Cool. It wasn't something that I outrightly thought I could do, but yeah. apparently I'm, I, I am funny in this, I hope. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, it was called Untitled Satirical Book Musical, and I went in and had no idea. And then during callbacks, they had us do some Hamilton material, at which point I was like, like oh, this is probably... And then I connected the dots with Gerard Alessandrini, who's okay. the creator of Forbidden yeah. Broadway. Yes. So and Gerard like, Alessandrini, for years, has, been, has created Forbidden Broadway. And he used to, every year, have like a fresh version of it. Yes. Where he would spoof all the shows in each season. Uh, there's a lot of great CDs out there of, of, the, of these different shows. And then Hamilton is so big that I guess it just deserved its own show. Yeah, so, apparently. I mean, like, you, yeah. know, you could do an entire show just on Hamilton. And that's what he set out to do, and he did. Uh, I think that was his biggest thing. The way it differs from Forbidden Broadway is that it kind of has, like, this through line of Lin-Manuel as Alexander Hamilton trying to better Broadway, like get rid of all these okay. cruddy Broadway shows right. that are, you know, inundating the industry. And right. so through that, you are taken on this journey of, Broadway and love of Broadway, uh -huh. which is a lot of fun. By the way, on the poster, that that that, that thing, that yes. like a, that's on the poster. That's a Forbidden Broadway thing. Oh, yeah. It's, it's yeah, a that's Forbidden like Broadway a a that's staple. A, that's mm -hmm. classic. Yes. That's classic uh, Gerard, Gerard Allison dreaming. Allison dreaming. Send um, off to Broadway. So are you having fun? I mean, is oh, it? Oh, it's the most fun. Yeah. It's so much fun. I never thought I'd be on stage, like, running around this little rat tail wig with a painted on goatee. So, 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 yeah, so tell me about the process. So, so I can't grow have... a goatee, unfortunately. You can't, I can't grow facial I, hair? I grow some facial hair, but it doesn't look Aww. great, to be honest. Well, that, was, that would have fit you. Did, were you Peter Pan? I was Peter in Pan. In that 360, mm -hmm. 360 degree oh, yeah. Peter Pan. Mm -hmm. So for that one, it would probably be good that you oh, didn't have manly facial hair. Oh, it was great. I didn't need to shave. It was amazing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it was no work at all. <laughs> uh, but this, I, I put on this really great, greasy uh, Ben Nye goatee. Tea and okay. this little ponytail wig, a la Lin Manuel in Hamilton. Okay, so what is the trick to impersonating Lin Manuel Miranda? 
Okay, so it's not just a straight up impersonation of okay. him. It's a characterization of him and his character. You know. Okay, like a, it's a but I've heard, up, uh, I've heard <laughs> that you are really nailing like a lot of. I it, uh, I watched a lot of or listened to a lot of In the Heights. Watched a lot of okay. interviews. Listened to a lot of Hamilton. It's very nasal and very some. Oh, I was just gonna go into it. That's how in this yeah, routine yeah, I am. Yeah. It's very like choppy at yeah, some yeah, points. Yeah, the way, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. The way Lynn talks. The way yeah. his thought process works, but. Yeah, I just listened to it over and over and over again. Uh-huh. I was like, oh, this is kind of getting into this rhythm. So now it's just a, a habit in the show. So then this happened. I'm going to share this. This happened. Because I, I, I follow <laughs> Lynn on Twitter. Yes, this, this happened. happened. This happened. Uh, so, so you're doing the show for how long at this point? Uh, this was still in previews. Okay, well, it was early. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this guy shows up. This guy and so, Tommy Kale and Alex Lackey right. show up. So all of a sudden mm-hmm. this guy's out there. And yes. you knew, and you immediately knew he was there. We knew he was there. We heard his laugh, actually, within the first, like, 15 <laughs> seconds of the show. We were like, where is he sitting? We don't want to know where he's sitting. And then we heard him. We were like, he's right there. <laughs> and then how was that for you? Uh, it was great. To be honest, it was a little intimidating. Not nervous performing for him, but um, the content of the show throws, you know, several barbs, pointedly, yes. but in a loving way, yes. uh, to Hamilton and to Lin-Manuel and the things that he loves. So I was nervous that maybe it wouldn't be taken uh, lightheartedly, but he's such like an he amazing storm out. guy. Exactly. Storm out of the theater. He's so great, so amazing that you know he took everything in stride and la- was able to laugh at himself. So what did he say after the show? Uh, they all seemed to love it. He seemed to love it. He was laughing the whole time. Uh, funnily enough, uh, I had told him after the show about this story where I served him and his wife at a restaurant I used to work at on the Upper West Side. Maybe like a what couple did he weeks. Order? He ordered a Moscow mule. <laughs> Oh, and really? That's the only thing I remember, yeah. Really? Because I was like, how do I make a Moscow meal? I've never made this before. <laughs> that's, a good, that's, that's one of my go to. Um, uh, yeah, I told him about that story that I waited on him and his wife before his son was born. He was like, no way, that's crazy. That's awesome. Full circle. That's awesome. Small world. So, uh, how are audiences? They're great. We've been mostly selling out. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it's a hot ticket in town, gratefully. Uh, yeah. it, it's awesome to perform for a sold out crowd, and the triad is. Such a great space for this type of show. You know, it's yeah. just like so condensed yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and compact uh, that everyone's in on the action, which is amazing. Uh, the audiences have been awesome. So, do you do you actually like have the skills to be in Hamilton? Uh, I'd like to think so. I think so, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. That'd be really yeah. interesting. I know there's the, the, you know because there's such a long history of Forbidden Broadway that happened a lot of times with actors mm-hmm. where they were like doing they were Forbidden Broadway the show, and they ended yeah. up doing the actual doing show the they actual made fun show. of exactly. So uh, so you wouldn't turn down a Hamilton audition? Oh, not in a million years. <laughs> not in a million years. Uh, where, where did you grow up? I grew up in California. Okay, South California. cool. That's and what brought you here? Did you, and did you have Broadway dreams? Is uh, that what yeah. started it? Yeah, Broadway dreams as a kid, acting dreams as a kid. For a long time, I did want to be a dentist. Speaking of the dentist, oh, oh, to do, okay. randomly. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I just wanted to be one. But I ended up going to Boston Conservatory, Massachusetts, and then okay. ended up moving here right afterwards. What was your favorite? Like, what were your favorite shows when you were a kid? Broadway musicals. When I was a kid, my favorite show of all time is Ragtime, oh. like bar none. Ragtime and then City of Angels. Um, so working with David Zippel, who's a producer and lyricist on the show, has been like a dream come true. Yeah. I'm like, oh my god, I love your musical so much. It's so great. Yeah. Those two, though, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what is your dream role? Billy wants to know. What is my dream role? Um, I would love to play uh, Bobby and Company. Hmm. It's a, I feel like not, yeah. no one really does company anymore, right? I feel like mm, people it do. might be time. It might, it might be, be time. time for another company. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or or uh, Schlumpany. Sh- I was trying to come up with like a, oh, uh, a Alice Forbidden Dream. Broadway yeah, <laughs> company. It. it was such a fail. It was such a fail. <laughs> um, uh, David wanted to know if Lynn reached out. Well, he, you saw the photo now. Um, yes. Miranda wants to know, are there any onstage bloopers? Like, it, 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 how loose is this show? Uh, does it change? It Has it changed since it started? There are little tweaks that we make depending on the audience. Like, uh, like, are you responding to recent events at Hamilton, at Spamilton? Uh, there's a line in the show about a president, and okay. sh- shortly after the, like, who was the president? Something like that. Like, can't, I can't believe this is the president. And shortly after the election happened, right. the audience <laughs> reacted accordingly um, to that line in the show. But it does change a little bit depending on who the audience is and how many have seen Hamilton or haven't. You don't need to see Hamilton to see the show. Right. It's fitting anyway. Right. It helps if you have, but it it doesn't matter if you have it. 
So people sometimes will just, do people ever show up thinking they're at Hamilton and going in there and they're be like, well, this is a really small theater. <laughs> like, I didn't realize. That. Early on, when we had the original logo, there was one foreign couple that came and thought they were seeing Hamilton, but they loved Spamilton. <laughs> they were like, oh, we thought we got tickets to Hamilton. And it's like, those tickets weren't that, that inexpensive for <laughs> that. Um, but they came and they loved the show anyway, and now they're excited to see Hamilton. Are so. tickets available for Spamilton? I believe so. It's if you a little, to, slightly easier. It's slightly easier. Slightly but easier. Still okay. sold out. Uh, okay. Spamilton.com okay. or SpamiltonNYC.com. Or Broadway.com. Or Broadway.com. Now has Spamilton tickets. Yep. Uh, yeah. Jacob it's wants to totally know, are we getting a cast recording? Ready to talk about that? Um, I think it's still under wraps oh, at that's, this point. Oh, okay. But I think there are, we're making moves to maybe making do something moves. like that. Making mm-hmm. moves mm-hmm. for that. We like making moves for that. Uh, Jake is watching from South Wales. Oh, have well, hello. There? I have not. I've never been to England. Me neither. That's, that's an England thing. Miranda said the show is so funny. <laughs> oh, thank you. So funny. Thanks, Miranda. Um, uh, yeah, so so it's all, what's the schedule? We do eight shows a week. Oh, it's a full, full schedule. Full show schedule. Wow. Mm-hmm. We usually, we're not doing Wednesday matinees right now, um, but we're doing Saturday matinees and Sunday matinees. So and how many people are there? There are five of us, five okay. of us, and one special guest diva, and one special uh, male guest who I will leave unannounced. Okay. Uh, he he does a very funny King George bit in the show. Oh, mm-hmm. nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having and, me. Uh, everyone, so the triad's on Seventy Second Street. Yes, Seventy Second right? Street. There's an express train goes right there. Right there. It's so close to the express <laughs> train. It's so easy to get it's there, so great. get in and out. No Times Square drama. Mm-hmm. Right. Plenty of sidewalk space, exactly. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So everyone, check out Spamilton at the Triad. And uh, thank you so much for being here. So nice to meet you. Thank you, you too. And have a nice Thanksgiving. Thanks, you too. And we will not be live at 5 tomorrow. So, uh, because we're closing early. So anyway, so we're not staying until 5 just to do this. But but I hope you all have a nice 5 p.m. And uh, we'll see you. We'll be back on Monday. Have a nice holiday. Bye. (laughs) Ha, ha, ha.